Hello, welcome to the video series on transforming a brush bot to an art bot. What I want to do first is explain the basic materials that you're going to need to develop the brush bot so we can get to the level of you designing and creating your very own unique art bot and trying to think and problem solve how you're going to go about doing that. But before we get there, we have to develop the brush bot. So let's take a look at what we're going to need. We're going to need a toothbrush. Doesn't matter any kind of toothbrush, just as long as it has bristles. So that's up to you. Preferably not used because no one wants your mouth germs all over a table. You're going to need a piece of double-sided tape. Doesn't really matter what kind. Something that has an adhesive on both ends. It could be glue dots. Whatever it is that you want to use. I happen to use this 3M product right here, in which you can find all the product things that I use on the lesson plan uh, with links to where I purchase everything. This here is a vibration motor. Obviously it helps if you can buy these with the leads already soldered and glued onto them. This is what's going to make your brush bot move. And last, we've already got it heat shrinked or shrink wrapped here. We have a 3 volt coin cell battery with then the two leads connected to the coin cell battery and then we've just shrunk some heat wrap over it to seal it um, one so it's nice and safe and if you were to buy anything from um, the maker store this is how they would come but this is very very simple and cheap to make your own if you wish to do that in terms of tools for this actual robot all you would really need um, is something to cut the toothbrush, so a strong pair of scissors, or in this case, I'm just going to use a good old pair of uh, snippers here um, that I already own. Those are the materials that you need to develop the brush bot. Let's get on to how we build the brush bot. All right, just some optional things that you may want to think about. You shouldn't need, but just in case you do. Um, if you get some wires that don't give you a good exposure of the wires inside um, inside of the casing here, you may need to get yourself a pair of wire strippers. For me, I don't think it's necessary with what I have, but it is something that you may want to have on board in case you don't have the wire exposed like you see here. Um, and something else that's not essential by any means um, but maybe get you thinking about more advanced stuff once we get into it is just some wire tape to tape the wires together. The downside would be with this case, there's no on and off switch on a brush bot. So if you tape those up, it's not going to turn off. So maybe the more advanced piece would be to get you thinking about how to make that happen. 